Hi everybody, this is Techno Freak again. I just reinstalled my 64-bit operating system here for Ubuntu and I want to show you how to install codexes. I have a 32-bit and 64-bit cheat sheet. Um, first thing we want to do is add the Metabuntu's uh, repository and I got this line right off of their website. I'll have these codes posted in my description of the video as normal. Okay, now that that's installed, I'm going to scroll down here just a little bit. This first line uh, um, of code here adds it so that it adds their file, some of their files into your um, software center had to think about that for a second brain fart and then it also the hooks part gives it so that if you have an error with one of their software parts it can send the error message and all of that back to their site so that they get it and they can fix it this next one installs your jpeg tools um, and a lot of the other codexes that are needed. I might already have a few of these installed due to putting in, the only thing I put in was my recorder so that I could record this and then I had to put a little update in so that I could do my testing to make sure my recordings were working. So this next line, GStream, GStream 10 plugins and there are different variations of them. Um, some systems already have these, but I have it for those systems that don't. Um, yeah, see, I, all, all mine are already the newest version. This next one's a really nice one. It's MPG123, and what that is is that installs your MP3 codexes for playing all those different files and different variations. Now, one thing I want to mention too is this will get pretty much all of your codexes for most people unless you're doing some really odd fi file formats. Um, here's my 32-bit version, the one line of code there, and here's my 64-bit. It's the only thing that separates out that the whole top section is for both 32 or 64-bit. It's not... Um, specific for either one it's just an overall general and here we got the CSS2 um, the read and the restricted extras for you the Ubuntu restricted extras and then I got the W64 codex you might recognize some of them if you've seen other ones talking about codexes for Linux um, I got this all pretty much down to a straightforward simple setup. Here's the Microsoft fonts. Just hit tab and OK, tab and enter. Now that we got all that done, you should I'll have all my codexes that I